What is going on guys? Thank you all so much for tuning in. My name is Kyle and uh, today I have a, another collection video for you guys. Uh, I've decided to try something a little new and do this entire video uh, in voiceover. Uh, so uh, definitely let me know how, in the comment section down below if you like it better this way. Uh, I know Quick Play does it this way so just try something new see if you guys like it uh if not you know let me know that as well so i can uh give you guys what you want to see but anyway uh if you all could also just take a very quick second out of your day to just hit that like button and then subscribe if you haven't already and i do apologize for the lack of content lately i just got married two days ago uh so been very hectic a lot going on uh, hence why there was no videos anytime recently, but, um, we're back, uh, and then I am going to be leaving again on a cruise, so going to be a little bit more time without videos, but I promise you it will definitely go back to consistent uploads in the near future. So here we are at the first location. Uh, this was, is one of my newer locations. You can see it kind of looks kind of run down. Um, the first time I went to this location, there was about 30 bucks in it. So that was pretty cool, especially considering it was only three weeks. Uh, now this time around, there was definitely a lot more candy left over in this machine. So it wasn't quite expecting as much as I got last time around. But go ahead and take all of this out so that I can get to the coin bank there in the bottom. Pull that out and switch it out for the new one. Go ahead and uh, pop that in. And there we go. And then got to go ahead and put it all back together. Put the top back on in just a second, as you can see here. There we go. And then time to head out to my car and see how much I made. So went ahead and opened up the coin bank. Uh, these things can be a little bit of a pain sometimes. This one was pretty easy, though, except for the fact that it broke. So unfortunately, coin bank no good. But go ahead and dump the quarters out. I believe it was about $22 this time around. So definitely less than last time. Hopefully it will pick up next month. So here we are. Um, I didn't actually collect from this location. This is inside of a car dealership. Uh, last time I went to collect this location, I didn't really have enough candy. So I just went and filled it up didn't collect anything this time around because it is a pretty slow location it doesn't really get much in sales and as you can see next to the machine that I'm filling up here uh, the shooting hoops machine is actually also mine uh, but didn't collect either of those today so that's going to be one that I am going to have to uh, just collect next time around or probably in another month or two this is a new location or not a new location but a different location uh, inside of like a car place and or repair place and go ahead and open it up this one's usually pretty good this one had about I uh, believe 50 bucks or so around as you can see I was saying earlier how these coin banks can be a little difficult but uh, did manage to get it open and you can see go ahead and dump it all out and see all the quarters in there I believe it was right around 50 bucks I want to say but anyway, moving on to the next one, go ahead and pack up my little bag. Now, one thing I do um, do for all my locations is I'll, I have this bag that I bring in to each location, and I fill it in up with the products that I need in that location, and then bring it in, uh, service it, and then come back out. Just makes it a lot easier. Um, you can see it's a little bit difficult to do it with only one hand. So, sorry if it's not the best camera angles. I do apologize. But uh, go ahead and get everything packed up. I believe this one is in a... Uh, this is like a tractor supply store. Uh, you'll see me go ahead and walk in in just a second. And then there's my machine right over here. So, go ahead and unlock it. And then... This one, I believe I filmed the entire process just about this time around, so you guys can kind of get a better idea of, you know, what it takes to service each machine. Uh, now, this is kind of one downside to these Venn design machines is it you do have to completely take it apart just about in order to switch out the coin banks, uh, which can be a little bit of a hassle. Um, 
especially if you don't have a table. Obviously, I always try to put it on a table if I can, but sometimes there is just nothing close by, so you really do have to put it on the floor. But like I said, definitely try to avoid that if possible. Go ahead and switch this out. Every once in a while, you can see there's a few quarters in the side there that get stuck. Um, just pop those in there and pull it out. This uh, location is usually good for about 20 to 30 bucks a month. So, going to expect it to be right around that area, but uh, not exactly sure. Sometimes these locations will really just surprise you out of nowhere and do like triple uh, the normal sales. But go ahead and put all these back in. Uh, it's relatively easy to do, just you know, a little time consuming, uh, putting everything back in the right spot and everything like that. Uh, this location, as you can see, I have M&M's peanut M&M's, Skittles, and then gumballs. There is one guy here that really does enjoy the gumballs, so I'm definitely very happy about that because they are a lower uh, profit, or sorry, a lower food cost item compared to the chocolate, especially uh, definitely very expensive to uh, fill up the chocolate canisters. But go ahead and get that all situated and Another thing you can see here is that the gumball wheel is a little bit different for these Venn designs. But anyway, go ahead and fill everything up now. Start off with, I believe the Skittles. You can see it here. Um, yep, there we go. Go ahead, do, go ahead and do the Skittles first. Uh, then move on to the peanut M&Ms. Fill those up. Make sure they got plenty in there for the hungry people here. <laughs> And then now we move on to the regular M&Ms. And then right after this, I am going to go ahead and fill up the gumballs. As you can see here, I like to pre-package them in the uh, gallon bag. It makes my life so much easier. Go ahead and fill that all up. Good to go. Uh, and then now I just got to put the top back on and head out to my car and see how much the location ended up making. Can see all in all it's a pretty quick process not too long at all everything's looking good uh, go ahead and pop this thing open coin bank see how much is in it uh, definitely nice having multiple coin banks that way you can switch it out you don't have to count it in there but go ahead and dump it out and I believe it ended up being about 22 bucks in this time um, just a little bit less than normal but you know 20 bucks or more for a location is definitely nothing to complain about now this one uh, was the location that previously had over $100 in it, which was a very, very exciting. Uh, so I do expect it to have quite a lot this time around again, uh, because you can see how empty the gumballs are. So go ahead and uh, put this over there. This is actually a it was actually pretty crowded when I got there. I generally don't like to, but uh, do don't like to service it when it's really crowded in the place but you know it is what it is it was all good but you can see just all those quarters it looks very very full cool. and even some made it underneath somehow not exactly sure how but some made it underneath and uh this location had i believe it was 90 dollars after i paid the commission i don't remember what it was before commission off the top of my head but this location is always really really great um, and always very happy with the results from this one, especially considering they're just gumballs. Now, I do pay a commission here, so I count it out with my primitive little counting tube for quarters. It'll measure out uh, a roll worth of quarters, so $10 each time I fill that up. Uh, definitely need to get a, a quarter scale eventually, but just haven't gotten around to doing so yet, unfortunately. So this is going to be the last stop for this video i did actually go to more locations uh than shown here uh for today because this is what we got all together ended up being like 620 dollars from that collection altogether. now i did have the rack that i collected from for the first time which is going to be the next video but you can see here look at all those quarters very very nice but anyway, guys, this is going to just about wrap up this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And then I will catch you all in the next one.
Man, look at all those quarters. So nice. 